So the Apple Watch Series 6, is it worth the upgrade? Well, in this video, I'll be sharing with you why I actually think it might not be the update for you, and I will be sharing who it actually might be for. So let's get right to it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Noah. If it's your first time here, I make videos on the best tech and tips to help improve your health and productivity. If this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what's really new with the Apple Watch Series 6? So first off, it has a new S6 chip, which basically means that you're gonna have better battery life, faster performance, you can run more apps at the same time. Then you also have have a updated heart rate sensor, which is also now a blood oxygen sensor. So now you can have better sleep tracking and also you can measure how much oxygen is within your blood. The other two updates are the fact that you have two new colors, which are the product red and the blue aluminum. And then lastly, you have the updated bands, which are the solo rubber loop as well as the braided loop. To be honest, it's very, very minor. And if you look at the other options that Apple released alongside the Series 6, you might be wondering, is it even worth paying the extra money for? First off, looking at the SE, which is basically what I think is the Series 5 with just updated features. It doesn't have the latest S6 chip, but it does have S5, which is last year's model and works perfectly fine. And the only other couple things that it doesn't have is a haptic feedback on the digital crown, as well as it doesn't have the updated heart rate sensor. So if you're thinking about it, you're getting a pretty nice updated Apple Watch for $120 cheaper at around $279. Or you can even go to the most basic option, which is the Series 3, which is the smaller size. It has the oldest sensor. I think it's the S3 chip, which I think is around three generations away from the current chip. And it has the lowest storage option of around eight gigabytes. So if you think about it, you have the entire range. What I would say is the Series 3 is for the entry level people who are looking to kind of get into the wearable game. They want something that they can get some notifications. Maybe it's for an elderly person in your family, or maybe a super young kid who really wants to get into technology, wants to have some sort of Apple Watch. And I think ultimately this would be a good option for that beginner. Then on the other side of the spectrum, you have the Series 6, which has all the latest features, the latest tech, so the updated chip and the blood oxygen sensor. This is for somebody who wants the latest and the greatest, and you know they know what they want. They know they want the latest, Apple Watch that has all the features. And then you have the middle group, which is the SC, which I actually think a lot of people sit in this camp. It's around $120 cheaper, but you're getting most of the things that you see in the S6. It's just, you're missing like the blood oxygen sensor, maybe not the haptic feedback, which I don't even use anyway. So you're really getting a really good watch for a pretty good price. You can actually probably use that extra $120 to buy a band, maybe a case or a screen protector for your watch. So. I think that this is an option that is really good for a lot of people. And you're probably asking me, so Noah, why did you get the Series 6 instead of getting the SE? Well, I was coming from the Series 4. I didn't upgrade last year because I didn't think there was that much of a change. And when the Series 6 came out, I was like, okay, I'm two generations behind. I can finally make the jump. And some of the things that really stuck out to me was one, getting the always on screen display, which has been really cool to just have a screen that's always on that I can see. Two, it has more storage. So it now has 32 gigs of storage, which is great when it comes to storing music on my Apple Watch. And then lastly, I really wanted the latest heart rate sensor. The blood oxygen is pretty cool. I don't know how accurate it is, but the heart rate sensor, that's what I really care about because I'm really interested in tracking my activity and make sure that it's the most accurate tracking possible. And I'll be honest, the updates to the Apple Watch, there's really not that much you can do because the Apple Watch has been great for literally the last five or six years and it's been one of the top uh, fitness wearables that have been out there. But what I'm super excited about is the application of the Apple Watch of the future. Where I think the Apple Watch is going is in a great direction when it comes to like health and fitness. Specifically, if you look at the sleep tracking app, I've been begging for a sleep tracking app through Apple's Apple Watch feature. The battery life wasn't good. Then they didn't have the actual app. And now that they do, I think this is gonna be super game changing and really to me put this over any type of Fitbit device because now it can track sleep. And then the second thing that I'm super excited about is the Fitness Plus. Now you already know I'm going to be making a review on this as soon as it comes out, but this is Apple's new fitness program, similar to the Peloton app, where they're gonna be giving workouts each and every week. They have some of my favorite trainers on there, like Bettina Gozo, and literally I am super pumped for it. You're gonna be able to track all your workouts and it works perfectly with the Apple Watch where you can see your activity levels on the screen, how many calories you're burning. It gives you a little bit of extra motivation with some of the animations that pop up. But honestly, this is gonna be one of those, I think, game-changing features for Apple if they do it right. So that wraps up today's video. Question of the day, which watch are you gonna to upgrade to? Are you gonna to go to the Series 6 
or the SE, or you guys just go to the Series 3. Let me know in the comment box below. I hope this video was extremely helpful. If it was, go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. As always, stay healthy, stay productive, and embrace the hype.